There's no Celtic first team game this weekend, but there is a Legends match in Manchester, 110 years on from the Hoops' first Old Trafford trip. Manchester's been a big Celtic venue over the years, witness to numerous interesting club moments. There was even once a joint team with Rangers. Celtic's first visit to Manchester came in 1891. On the 28th of March 1891, the boys took on Ardwick, which was the team that later became Manchester City, at Hyde Road. It was an easy 7-2 win for the Glasgow team, who actually, as part of this tour, played three other matches against English opposition. Celtic faced Ardwick at different times, but in 1894, they first opposed Manchester City, who had only adopted that name earlier that year. On the 1st of December 1894, the green and white stripes again went south, this time drawing 0-0 with the new named team. Celtic's 1895 visit to Manchester was very memorable and included an historic boys moment. Playing on Christmas Day versus Man City, the game kicked off at 11.30am. This is Celtic's joint earliest ever kickoff. The Manchester team did win 2-1 until it was abandoned due to poor weather. Despite later connections, Celtic didn't play Manchester United until 1914, just months after the beginning of World War I. Another Christmas Day game, but this time in 1914, also saw the Celts' first visit to Old Trafford. The boys lost 2-1 that day, with 6,000 watching on. 1925 was a particularly strange year. It witnessed an unusual, although not unique, football event in Manchester. Celtic and Rangers played as a joint team. Five Celtic and six Rangers players combined in a testimonial for the legendary City and United player Billy Meredith. Playing at Main Road, it ended 2 all. Celtic have appeared in numerous friendlies in Manchester, but the first competitive game in the city came in 1984. In very controversial circumstances, Celtic were forced to replay their Cup Winners Cup tie versus Rapid Vienna, following false claims that a bottle had hit a Rapid player in the Celtic Park leg. Playing at the supposedly neutral Old Trafford, although Celtic fans were in massive attendance with 40,000 turning up, Celtic lost 1-0, meaning they were knocked out of the competition. At least in an eventual act of justice, Rapid lost the final to Everton. The boys played Manchester United multiple times in testimonials, before eventually facing them in a competitive match. On the 13th of September 2006, Celtic lost 3 2 at Old Trafford in a Champions League clash. The boys had taken the lead before being undone by a very soft penalty. But in November of that year, Celtic had the last laugh when they beat United in Glasgow thanks to a stunning Shinshuki Nakamura free kick and a great penalty save by Arthur Boric. Celtic were through to the last 16 of the Champions League. The boys first met Manchester City in a competitive game in 2016. Drawn together in the Champions League, the two teams played out firstly an exciting 3 all draw in Glasgow on the 28th of September. In the Manchester leg, there was another draw, but this time 1-0 at the Etihad Stadium in December. Patrick Roberts, although playing for Celtic, was on loan from City and he scored the boys' only goal. Celtic friendlies in Manchester have historically been a great day out. One memorable 1990s moment even saw Eric Cantona don a Celtic jersey. And there's been other iconic moments when tens of thousands of Celts have defended on Manchester. Hopefully the multitudes of Celts who are going to Manchester have a brilliant day as they watch earlier club legends in action. Today, it's very much a case of, come on the old hooks. If you want to learn more about Celtic history, follow Hail Hail History on Twitter X, or you can take part in a free Celtic History Walk. Visit celticwalkingtours.wordpress.com to find out more.